Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will be showing you how to switch from the new lock mode and return back to the legacy mode for cockpit interactions. Lock mode is the new way of dealing with the aircraft interface. It was introduced in the latest flight simulator update. It came along with the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator to the Xbox consoles. This new lock mode makes it easier for players on a console. For those of us playing on a PC, these new cockpit interactions can become tiring and annoying very quickly. In this example, you can see that it affects the ability to select the correct heading and altitude using the respective knobs. In order for me to change these parameters with the lock mode, I have to first left click in order to select lock, then I have to right click on heading in order to set my current heading as my selected heading course. Selecting the altitude is similarly complicated. Sometimes even selecting fuel tanks can be a bit challenging. Changing between these two modes is as easy as going into the general options menu. Go to the accessibility submenu, then find the option for cockpit interaction system. Clicking the arrows either side will change between the lock and legacy options. Set it to legacy, then click apply and save down the bottom of the screen. Then you can exit the menu and return to your flight. So you can see right away some of the differences between the two modes. Here you can see that the pop-up graphic no longer comes up instructing me to ask to lock anything. Interactions are much simpler. Hovering your mouse over a control will change the mouse arrow into an icon that indicates what you're about to do. For instance, knobs will show a semicircular arrow. Some switches will show an arrow indicating which direction the switch will be flipped on. Selecting the heading is now as simple as a single mouse click onto the correct knob. And that's it. To recap what we did, pause the game, go into the general options menu, go to accessibility, then find cockpit interaction system and change from lock to legacy. You can leave it on whichever one you prefer to use. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.